Hello, welcome to Music Meets Tech. My name is Hugh Sung, and in my studio I have the lovely Lydia Kaminska, classical button accordionist. A fascinating instrument. I'm more used to seeing accordions with traditional piano keys, but yours obviously has chromatic buttons. Can you tell me a little bit about the system? I see white keys and black keys. Does it work the same way as a piano keyboard? Uh, well, relating to piano accordion, the white buttons are like white keys okay. on the piano and the black are black keys on the piano or piano accordion. Mm -hmm. And yes, this is a little bit different. I mean, it's maybe very different uh, because um, buttons are arranged chromatically. Okay. And then, um, well, the one road from the top of the instrument to the bottom mm -hmm. are arranged in minor thirds. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yes. And... Um, so it doesn't go diatonically. Okay. Yes. Now, it looks like with a design like that, you mm -hmm. can fit in a, a very wide range of notes. Obviously, with a piano, a traditional piano keyboard, you need a mm -hmm. much wider dimension physically to fit all those notes. How many octaves can you play on your instrument? Uh, over five octaves five in octaves. the right hand and five octaves in the left hand. Now, the left hand has a looks like a different button system. Um, in a piano accordion, the buttons mm -hmm. play chords. Does your accordion do the yes, same thing? Yes, yes. The same thing. Uh, we have two rows of basses. <laughs> and then ready chords. Ma major, minor, seven and diminished, like in a piano accordion and many accordions. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have also converter. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a one switch. And it uh, changes the chords to single notes. Okay, so like the other hand, then you can yes. make the interesting. Of wow. course, it opens up a uh, um, huge opportunity to for transcriptions mm. from piano, from organ, from any really instrument. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of buttons you have under your chin as well. Yes. Can you describe what those buttons do? Of course. Um, well, those are duplication of uh, switches. Uh, they are like in a piano accordion. I have 15 of those and uh, oh. they work the same like an organ. So they change registers, they add Correct. and subtract pipes. Wow. Or they're transposing octave, octave lower or octave higher. But they, they work like, like an organ. Of course, organ has much greater n number of uh, switches or sometimes calls, stops. But those one I have seven extra on the top of the instrument, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just easier sometimes to change with your chin than with the fingers. It doesn't disturb the hand while while playing. You mm -hmm. must be a very strong person. I mean, that looks like a heavy instrument. How much does this instrument weigh? Yes, this one is very heavy just because of the old switches mm -hmm. and the uh, amazing range. Uh, it's uh, 35 pounds, <laughs> wow. so it's quite heavy. It's impossible to play while standing. So you normally perform sitting in a sitting position? Definitely, right? yes, yes. Wow. No standing with this instrument. Now, uh, I have to congratulate you. I understand mm -hmm. you have just won the Astral Artist auditions. You are now an official Astral Artist. Yes, I'm so, so happy and honored to be part of this organization. Mm -hmm and to be among uh, these great uh, musicians. Can you, for yeah, for mm -hmm. those folks who are not familiar with what Astral represents, can you tell me a little yes. bit about the organization? The organization promotes uh, most talented, that's what I say. I don't know if I am most talented. I, but <laughs> I, you're the most talented button accordionist I've ever met. So you're, you're you. the only button accordionist I've ever met. But, but they promote the most talented musicians yeah. in this country. Mm -hmm. And there is age limit and they have auditions every mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think last this year, uh, last January, it, the audition was like four days mm -hmm. of uh, different musicians, vocalists, uh, of course, violinists. I was the one accordionist and um, this is the second year I've tr I have tried mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. and I got to it so I'm very honored I'm just going to imagine that I'm a young musician watching this podcast mm -hmm. and I want to learn to play or become a button accordionist just like you mm -hmm. where do I start what do I need to do do I need to go to Europe to study seriously or can I find teachers in this country what would you recommend you know I uh, 
Yes, it's hard, <laughs> hard call. One of my dreams is to start a program in the university. That's my u ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, studying in Europe, accordion is in every music school, in every university, mm -hmm. and every academy of music. So it's it's much easier. Mm -hmm. But uh, I hope something will improve in this country that you, you can study. I uh, graduated from University of Missouri, Kansas City. Mm -hmm. Uh, unfortunately, when I graduated, the program uh, they closed the program, oh, so good. there is no more program over there. So there are not actually there are no places you can as get. And as mm. I understand, you were also the only PhD uh, yes. recipient. You were actually a PhD in accordion performance, the only one in this country, as I understand. Is that correct? Yes, yes, I. I yes, <laughs> I'm very proud. I am the first one, but of course I don't want to be the last one. Absolutely. So I hope this will improve. I was busy f uh, with the, with my school, a doctorate degree. It took me four years mm -hmm. to graduate, and after that, you know, you uh, start thinking what's what's next. Yeah. After the school, you get the degree, and this is one of the things that Astral tries to do. Mm -hmm. They try to help musicians who maybe ha is great musicians who has education but not necessary skills to promote themselves. Yeah. So yeah. they try to uh, teach uh, the musicians how to how to promote yourself. Yeah. And um, so that was one transition to Kansas City. And uh, after Kansas City, I moved to Philadelphia mm -hmm. about two years ago. And um, yes, the beginning, the first year, I didn't have much. Mm -hmm. and uh, But I just tried to perform as much as I can. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it just improved with the time. I, you know, I play one place, then I was invited to another place, and and then the Kimmel Center, and then you know next year orchestra. So everything I think is going the right direction. And um, yes, right now I want to um, concentrate on performing. I want to perform as much as I can. And I think it will improve the situation about the instrument. Wonderful. Well, listen, thank you so much for coming in and talking about your fantastic instrument and your very promising career. Be sure to uh, I want to invite everybody. Please visit Lydia at her website. It is www.lydiakaminska.com. Correct. You can see, you, I mm -hmm. believe you can uh, hear examples of your playing. You have a CD out as well, is that right? Yes, no. there's CD, all information ab also about my upcoming concerts. Great, we'll be posting links from my website to yours as well. And Thank you. I'm looking forward to watching your career skyrocket and hopefully seeing your dream come true of actually seeing a university level program uh, come to fruition and hopefully uh, spreading this tremendous literature for your instrument and this wonderful cultural asset to the uh, musical world and community at large. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Thank you for having me. All right.